swag, 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 swag. Back in this bitch. Not- All right, look, it's your boy Laid Back, back in here with another episode, another review, another reaction. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the notifications button, because that's how y'all gonna see these videos. So check this out. We back with another episode. And I gotta tell y'all, I'm gonna be doing these three times a week. So three times a week, I'm gonna be doing these reactions because let's keep it real. Sometimes the everyday struggle shows be trash. I know y'all watch them. I watch them. Sometimes some episodes just be better than others. And sometimes it's, you be like, what is this? So look, three times a week, be on the lookout. I got you. Y'all mess with me. I mess with y'all. We mess with the show. We're gonna go ahead and get it done. So in this episode, they got Damian Lillard, the point guard from the Trailblazers, sitting in as a co-host as well. So shout out to him. You know, he's a rapper as well. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's one of the best point guards out there in the league, he got bars for you. So definitely got to respect his pin game. And uh, so let's just start out the show, man. They they start out the show by saying Joe Button did not come through with his verse for Damian Lillard album. He dropping the album. He sent Joe the record. Obviously, Joe got shook because he said he heard the song and Lillard was snapping on that joint. So he, he 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 probably got a little shook up a little bit. Like he had to make sure, like, yo, I can't let this dude out rap me. He's an NBA point guard. This is not what he do a hundred percent. This is what I do. I can't be outshined by him. Whatever the case may be, he didn't come back with the record. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think Damian Lillard would would have torched Joe Button? Based on him not sending the record at on time, do you do you think that shows? That Damian Lillard was gonna give Joe Budden the business though. Just keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. So they also started talking about the Migos. They was like, yo, the Migos said that they changed rap. They played the clip. And honestly, what do y'all think? Do y'all think the Migos flow, the Migo, Migos style? Did you do you think that they actually influenced the culture so much that they actually put a stamp on it from the time that they came into the game and forevermore? It'll be changed. I believe so. I mean, the flows that they're using, the flows that they created, a lot of people using them. A lot of people is coming up with that type of style. And it's it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. Especially with the Versace record that they did and Drake hopped on it. Drake took that style and kind of put it on steroids. So I think, you know, the Migos is dope. I, mean, I fuck with them hard. You know what I'm saying? The album was dope. The production is hard. And I like what they doing, man. They they some young guys and Quavo, you know, he 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 the hook master. Everybody blends in together perfectly. So yeah, I, I mess with them. You gotta respect that they grind hard and they work hard for what they do. So then they got into Drake tattoo, man. Come on, Drake. Come on, Drizzy. Come on, dog. You gonna get Denzel face tattooed on you, bro? Yo, somebody got to tell this dude to chill, slow down, stop. Wait, what are you doing? You got Sade, you got Lil Wayne, you got Aaliyah, you got Denzel Washington. Like, hold on. Ain't nobody in his group, in his crew like, yo, Drizzy, big homie. You might want to chill, bro. Like, what? Or, or can you explain it? At least explain it to us. Like, what's the reason? Obviously, he got a fetish. Let's just call it what it is. It's, it's some type of a fetish with, I don't know, people he's inspired by, or made an impact. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I just think that's some, some that's some weird shit, man. I ain't, I ain't getting nobody tattooed, especially not they face on me unless it's my kid or, I don't know. But anyway, who you think the better rapper, though, in the NBA? Damian Lillard or Iman Shumpert. Both of them boys said, look, it's me. It's me. Don't look no more. I'm the best rapper in the league. What y'all think? I'll give you my opinion, but I ain't gonna give it to you just now. Whenever y'all start dropping y'all comments under this video, that's when I let you know who I think the better rapper is between Iman Shumpert and Damian Lillard. That's all I'm gonna say. Soon as I see one of y'all comments, pick a side, I'm gonna hop right up in there and be like, boom, this is what I think. So look, Y'all let me know who y'all think between that. And what do y'all think about Joe Button? This dude constantly keep leaving the show because he got to pee, bruh. He don't care who he interviewing, what they talking about. He just straight walk off the set. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> Yo. Yo, even like, yo, I got to go out here. 
in the middle of the conversation. So now Lillard sitting there looking like, oh, okay. Nadeska sitting there looking, oh. So it's like, bro, what's going on? Like, they don't even care. They just got to let it roll because it's just Joe Budden. This is who they hit up. This is who they want on the show. So I think it all makes for good entertainment, man. Today was a pretty good episode. Today was a pretty good episode. Damian Lillard really, you know what I'm saying, went in with some certain topics and stuff like that. He talked about the, the gap between LeBron James and other people in the league. He said it's not that big as people think. You know what I'm saying? So let's just keep that in mind. Like, LeBron's still at the top, but he not that. You seen what KD did to him. Let's just keep it a buck. You seen what KD did to him in the finals. He went straight at him. So look, man, this is your boy laid back. Shout out to my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think I'm coming up with a new name, man. Um, the Critics Critic. What do y'all think about that? The Critics Critic. Anyway, it's your boy Layback. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications button, man. Come rock out with us, man. Come chill. Come join the family. Come be a part of, of the team, man. We gonna blow this motherfucker up. Shout out to everybody. We out. It's your boy Layback. Ooh.